Can you still see the mouth? Yes, I'm just going to be quiet and observe. You can talk so I don't okay. over talk on the audio. Everything is good. You can narrate anything you want, though, in the meantime. Okay, so the mount is basically, uh, the OTA is basically um, on the horizon at the moment. And who Wait, are we but, speaking uh, to? Uh, Carl O'Brien from Dublin. Okay. And the time is, Irish time is 2049. Okay, and videography here is being done by Philip Smith from Manorville, New York. Thanks to Skype and uh, Camtasia Studio 7. At the moment now, um, the information is telling me that the International Space Station is still 1,200 kilometers away. So the moment is just barely moving. What equipment are you using there? Uh, uh, an AP-1200 mount attached to a, a, a C-14 uh, optical tube assembly and uh, the camera I'm using is a Luminaire Skynix monochrome. What software are you tracking? I'm using Satellite Tracker version 4.2.48. At the moment, the ISS is still out in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. All systems are go here. All systems I go, and it's going to be heading across southern Ireland down towards uh, Cork. It's going to be a pretty high uh, pass. Its uh, maximum altitude will be 61 degrees, and that's about as high as she would get in uh, from in Ireland. So it's getting closer now to the country. You can actually see the mount. Um, it's starting to pick up, pick up a bit of speed now. We can actually hear the gear changes in the in, in the motors. I hear some aliens in the background too. That's the kids bouncing the ball. <laughs> <laughs> at the moment, it's still out in the Atlantic Ocean, believe it or not, the ISS. Can you see the scope now starting to pick up speed? Yes, I do. Houston. We are goal. Now it's up over the observatory. Now we are visually tracking uh, the International Space Station. There now she just really kicked into high speed. Do we have visual? Can we see how fast it's moving now? Yes. Roger. And that's the beauty of these uh, astrophysics mount, is that you can actually set them that we don't actually need to do um an equatorial flip. It is a well-made piece of machinery. A well-paid piece of American machinery. <laughs> so we have a quick look now on the final stove. I might be able to actually see it. So it's going to a good clear spot just to slide there. This is an opportunity when a electronic finder scope would answer that for you. That's very interesting. Now, the fact that it doesn't get dark here till um, nearly 11 o'clock at night, it's now um, 
2048, and uh, I could actually see the uh, International Space Station as a, a white point of light in the final scope, and a 9 by 50 final scope. Everything looks good from here. There's the mount. The mount slowing back down now as it's um, the ISS is now over France. And it's still tracking. At this present moment of time now, the ISS is uh, over Germany and it's still tracking. What is weather condition? Uh, at the moment it is clear and there's bits of cloud now coming in from the northwest. The telescope is now pointing uh, southeast. That's it now, the telescope is now stopped tracking. Okay, uh, due to time constraints on YouTube, they only have a 10 minute max so we're going okay. to conclude this test what you are seeing now is the results of that test as you notice it's not centered at this time the only thing that was done was the removal of any blank frames that did not hold the ISS in it other than that this is as raw as it gets and at the end of this video you will see the finished process where this information that you see now was then taken and centered through a software. This video and the contents therein was created by Carl O'Brien of Ireland and Philip Smith, Manorville, New York. The reason for this video was to share information and to get an insight of the process. I urge others that can to take the time and share so we all can learn from each other the tracking, the processing, and with luck have a good final ISS video results. And for all you newcomers that are interested in tracking the International Space Station, do not give up hope. There are people out there that are willing to share information. Be patient and think before you ask questions and do research and you will put yourself ahead of the curve yourself. Good luck to all.